there, and welcome to another rousing episode of Monkey's Mailbag. Now, typically on this show, we have a whole assortment of zany packages and wacky adventures, but today I figured we'd slow things down a bit with just a bunch of fan mail envelopes. Now, on the normal episodes, the fan mail typically gets cut out completely because it slows down the pace of the show. So I thought it would be a delightfully comfy time to do one full episode with all of the mail envelopes that I have not yet opened. So I hope you're ready for a slow-paced, fun, comfy reading of a bunch of autistic, terrible, awful letters. Now I know what you're thinking. Mumkey, aren't you supposed to be hiding in the sewers after Jumkey's big retribution attack? And you'd be correct. But what I need to explain here is that not all videos are part of the lore. When a video is part of the lore storyline that's going on, I'll make it painfully obvious that it is. But right now, here and now, we're living in reality. We're enjoying a delicious glass of everybody's favorite beer. And we're gonna read some letters together, folks. Okay, this first one is from Madison, Wisconsin, from somebody named Stanford. Oh, fuck. Whoa! $100 right away! I like the sound of that, but that probably means he's paying me to review something. Oh, is this the guy that made me review... Fuck. Oh, I know. There's more money in here. Oh, sh... Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? This has been sitting in my house for months! <laughs> Uh, so, for 200 bucks, that probably means he wants me to review fucking Watha Wat or something again. Great. Dear Antic Monkey Jones, I asservate that you should reap your emolument. Appear on the Bully Sentai Assholiger YouTube channel and be a guest star on their podcast and promote them by having a short video on your main channel linking to the podcast you starred in for the sum total of $200. I believe that this amount of $200 is appropriate, appropriate as it is four times your $50 patron reward tier where you chat with you for about 20 minutes a month, whatever topics you see fit. And is also double your $100 Patreon reward tier, which gives patrons a video from you about a topic of their choice. The assholy gur are Rita Fag, Kachiman, Watawat, of course Watawat's involved in this. Uh, Retro Chocolate, Flutter Butter, Vindy, Mr. Meat Man, Tool Man, contact at real official BSA for the de facto manager or the de facto manager what the what for more information. Uh, it's from Stanford, yes, the same one. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that you guys had to wait so fucking long for that. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going on whatever this podcast is. And now you all know why in whatever amount of time I will be... <laughs> Posting a main channel video linking to whatever this fucking podcast is. But I, uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you there. I'll, I'll send you a message right now. Next, we have one from Canada. From a guy named, I can't read it. M looks like some Frenchy shit. Dear Monkey, if you're reading this, then you should have received a copy of Battletech 2 edition and City Tech 1 edition in the same mailbag run as you received this letter. Yeah, those were the board games I got a long time ago. Uh, I guess I got this at the same time and didn't realize it was part of the same thing. And I, they were uh, addressed to the wrong person, and I was confused, but it turns out they were actually meant for me, so it all worked out. Either way, as long as that guy in Arizona I got them off eBay from didn't screw me over, you have them. I got them because they are an incredibly fun game for autists, although I'm not sure if Sheepover will enjoy them, and I'm certain you'll find plenty of enjoyment from them. I know I have, and I hope you get as much enjoyment out of them as I have, or as much as I have from your channel. Let's go, uh, let's go grab that real quick, I still have it. Yeah, here they are. Got them out of my cuck shed, still have them. Have not, uh, bothered to learn how to play yet, but maybe, maybe he'll convince me why I should. All my real life friends aren't into anime, so also be on the lookout for more DVDs of anime I've bought in double by accident, or that I got a Blu-ray copy of. On that note, for the love of God, don't show me, Ma, that one I sent you back in December. Don't remember which one that was, but I've gotten a lot of fucked up anime in the mail so far. Expect more shitty anime or quasi-anime related stuff in the future, and also money once I find a place that has a de decent conversion rate for Monopoly money to Freedom Bucks. 
Hey, you're making a video of the Orville, you motherfucker. Hey, okay, I'll make a review of the Orville. That'd be great. From your uh, biggest mighty little man in Canada, Zantar. P.S. Did you know that the word cuck is how you pronounce the French word for rooster? It's true. Look that shit up if you don't believe me. It's only a coincidence that Canadians cucks like Mother's Basement, Glass Reflections, and your movie sucks happen to all look like one too. Well, thank you from Canada. Here we've got airmail from Australia addressed to A.M. Jones. We're going all around the world today. We got USA, we got Canada, and now we have Australia. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking cool. Okay, and it's it's just a drawing in some Japanese text. Take a look at that badass shit. Um, okay, do I know who this is? <laughs> oh, these must be uh, the Columbine kids, right? Is that right? I don't, I'm not that familiar with what the Columbine kids look like. And then down here we have some Japanese text. So if anybody in the comments can translate, I'll, uh, I'll give you a, I'll give you a heart. And people like getting the hearts in the comments. Let's, let's hang this bad boy up on the wall. Here's a small letter from Gaston, Indiana from a Mr. Zavian. Oh, oh cool, a fucking sp fidget spinner. I was expecting just the letters today. Oh, it's broken. You can see like ball bearings in there. It's maybe the broken piece is in here. Dear Monkey, your videos make my day. I am 13 years old with ADHD. Well, that explains this. That probably explains why I like your videos. Oh, good, I tried to zing you and he zinged me right back before I even got to it. This is a good 13 year old kid. Anyway, keep being edgy, mate. Also, give Jumpkey a special go fuck yourself from me. Sincerely, Zav uh, Zavian. I'm not gonna read your last name, don't worry, buddy. Uh, P.S. Enjoy the fidget spinner faggot. Well, it's fucking broken, Xavian. Unless you're gonna tell me the mailman broke into my letter and stole pieces of my fidget spinner. I think you fucked it up. And we've also got another one also from Xavian, I assume. Oh, it's a drawing. Uh, my drawing of Elliot Roger. I love to blow girls away. And here's, uh, here's that Xavian drawing of Elliot Roger. Very nice. Here we have a teeny tiny one that is specifically addressed for a junkie, but since he's not here right now, I'll have to open it for him and give it to him later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's he's a busy man! Jumpkey's a busy man, you know what he's up to. <laughs> Even though I just said that this is not canon to that, I just don't want to get up and find him. Sorry, no weed, only drugs I have are anti-psychotics. Uh, will you ever do your own Let's Play series? Happy New Year. And he sent Jumpkey... Oh, he sent Jumpkey a Magic the Gathering card called Willing Test Subject, who's like a, he's like a spider monkey. So the question is, will Jumpkey ever do his own Let's Play series? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, if you guys have a good recommendation, I think somebody just sent me that game. What is it? Ram? It's not Rampage. It's the, it's a really edgy game where the guy is just going through town killing people. Hatred! It's hatred. Somebody sent me hatred on Steam. So if you want to see Junkie do a Let's Play of Hatred, I guess I can get that arranged. It will be as terrible as you would imagine it would be. And uh, click the link in the description to my gaming channel to watch that when it comes out. There. Thanks to this whatever this was. That's officially happening now. Our second to last letter is from Greenville, South Carolina from a guy named Palm Sugar. And it's just, uh, it's just a flash drive which is very suspicious. I don't want to put any of your flash drives into any of my computers. This is probably gonna fucking, what, send a whole bunch of CP to the FBI from my account? I don't think so, buddy. I'm gonna go find Sheepover's computer and put it in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going down with the ship. Fuck it, I, somebody has to stay here to upload the video. They can, they can fuck her life with this, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Plugging it into my Chromebook. Who knows what's gonna happen. I don't trust it. I really don't trust it. But what are you gonna do? You gotta do it for the show. The show must go on. But that being said, if even if this is safe or dangerous, in the future I'm never going to plug in a flash drive again because I don't I don't trust any of you fuckers out there. Mm, oh, mailtime.mp4. Oh, I know this guy. This guy was in the... Uh... The the contest. And this is really long, and I don't know what he's talking about. You know, you know, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's worth watching the whole thing. Um, maybe I'll watch through it and cut in the best bits. Okay, if you're watching this, then either A, you put it in the video of you opening up all your mail and you found the little USB and you actually put it in the video. Which, thank you for not being a douchebag. I thought this was the guy who submitted a short film and got into the short film festival, but I don't remember him having that accent. But I don't- I have no idea. Man, I, I can't keep track of all this shit anymore. There's just too much. And finally, our last envelope letter of the day is from Dill Steven in uh, South Carolina as well. Well, maybe it's the same guy. Oh, this must be from the same guy because he's bitching about the same shit. <laughs> Dear monkey fuck, it's me again, the palm sugar, yep. I applaud loyalty for not watching my video. Granted, I wish you did, but whatever. I don't- I don't have any idea what you're talking about. When- d did you send me a video that I was supposed to watch? I don't- and this is probably from five months ago, because I haven't opened these- I- I have no idea what I did wrong! I write you because- oh. I write you this because I can, so suck it. You made me sad you did not watch. I all- well, to be, to be fair, I couldn't even manage to watch the other one, so... Maybe your videos just aren't worth watching. I, <laughs> I also added Arby's coupons because I was thinking Arby's. I got I didn't see any Arby's coupons in there. I got tired of writing in purple, so I chose red. No big tip. I recently watched the video about grade A and and uh, something something. So suck it. I have no idea what this guy is even writing anymore. Mo Green, yay! If you are still reading, you are a trooper. Yeah, no shit. You should check out my channel, Palm Sugar. If you don't, some, maybe something will happen. I don't know. But whatever, it will probably make me sad. And then it's... I guess he... Did he send me a $5 super chat and I was supposed to watch something of his? I don't know. The only thing I do know is that that was the last of my envelope letters, which means we have concluded the first ever, probably first annual, because I don't get too many of these, the first annual Monkey's Mailbag just reading your stupid fan mail envelopes. We did it, folks. Another job well done. Here's the real reason why I made this video. I mean, I wanted to do a fan, you know, a fan mail reading, but also all the stuff I'm working on, especially the next thing, are like these really big documentary-esque projects. Um, I'm, I'm really deep into the next one right now, and it wasn't going to come out for a little bit more, so I thought, hey, let's, uh, let's do something easy for the channel real quick, just so that there's not a drought in content. And really, all of the stuff I have planned to work on, other than the next Monkey's Mailbag, which will be an actual episode, which will tie into the lore, which will hopefully be out this month, um, the other things I'm planning on working on are these really big projects because I I really want to while I can just generate some really in-depth big shit I I love in-depth big shit especially when it's coming out of my asshole so that's it for now if you want to send me letters or even normal packages the address is here on the screen somewhere I keep forgetting to put that in episodes I think the last episode when I showed off that I dubs got my book was age restricted for no reason. So if you haven't watched that one yet, uh, there's a link to it right here on the screen. Right there. And probably a link to some sort of playlist right here. And and now I have to waste time for like 10 seconds. So I'm just gonna drink my beer. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you liked this uh, slower paced video. Perhaps a bit. Mm -hmm.